Good morning. Today is the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass this morning is being offered for John C. Brennan. This week's second collection will be with the Cemetery FP. There will be a Father's Day breakfast next Sunday, June 20th, at the RCC Social Hall from 8.30 in the morning until 1230. See the details in the bulletin. Father's Day cards are available in the back of the church. Please note the new Mass schedule begins next week. Consult the bulletin for daily and weekend Masses. If you have already done so, we encourage you to make a donation to the 2021 Because We Are Catholic campaign, which supports the needy and many charitable organizations for Schuylkill County and the Diocese of Allentown. Please pray with me the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us to battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God bring you to me humbly, pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, pass us to hell, Satan, and all the spirits who crown the world, seeking the room of souls. Amen. Our entrance in is number one in our supplement on our welcome. Number one in our supplement. Please rise and greet Father Bill. Great. 
Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day. And through it all, the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest is come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the words to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of Schroeder's cat. 
He's out there and he's sowing the seed on the ground. And he doesn't know if the seed is going to live or die. All he knows is that he has to throw it and that some of the seed will rise and give growth to fruits and vegetables and others isn't going to do it. We need to realize in our own lives that we have the potential through our baptism, through the grace of our baptism, to be seed that will either be alive or seed that will be dead. It's not really an observation, but rather it's a living. A living of our faith life. Because we walk by faith, not by sight. To prove the existence of Schroeder's cat is a little bit crazy, but that's what physics do, phys phys uh, uh, studies of, of physics do. We know that we have Jesus in our heart, and the grace of baptism puts Jesus in our heart. We, however, also have the option of choosing to love sin and our world more than we love Jesus. And when we do that, it becomes one of those Schroeder cats and allergies. While we are on this earth, we are simultaneously alive and dead. We have the life of Christ that lives within us, but yet we are also dead to sin. But in the end, on the day of judgment, we must make a choice. It now becomes not either or, or both and, Comes, do I give my heart and my love to Christ, or do I give my heart and my love to all of the worldly pleasures that I might have enjoyed too much in life? This past Friday, we celebrated the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. None of us really can see our own hearts, and certainly none of us can see the Sacred Heart of the Lord. But we, as baptized people, truly believe that in Jesus' heart is contained in each and every one of us. He is a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of forgiveness, a God of peace, a God who always journeys with us. We are not always simultaneously both alive and dead, but rather we are always alive in Christ. May the Lord be with us in a very special way this weekend. I would like to introduce to you to a new face up in the altar, and that's little Maggie Flamini, who was one of our new altar server trainers, trainees, uh, the little sister of Charlotte, and we look forward to her serving with Charlotte on the altar as she goes through this process of training with us. Also, uh, next week is Father's Day, and so please remember your fathers in a very special way. We have our Father's Day breakfast next weekend between 8.30 and 12.30 down in the Mac of Conception Social Hall. We hope that you come out and you enjoy breakfast with us and in your own way help support the parish. And I want to thank the 30-some volunteers who said that they would help out with us that particular day. Also, as you know, with Father's Day this week, I begin my new responsibilities with the diocese and with the bishop. And in addition to being pastor here of St. Clair of Sissy, uh, due to the shortage of priests, I will also become the assistant. I will also become the pastor of Holy Cross in the Philly. In order to treat both parishes to the best of my ability as fully as I can, we have to give and take a little bit. So we're losing one of our masses here, and Holy Cross is losing one of their masses so that I can be able to do a mass here. So right now, this is the, the last 1030 mass that we will have here. 
but up in Holy Cross, which is only 12 minutes away, 12 minute drive, it's not that far, we will have a 1045 Mass. So those of you that like this time frame in Mass, you'll still be able to do this. You just need to get your car and drive a couple extra minutes to be with me up there. And the same thing will happen. The 830 Mass that was in Philly is being uh, canceled, and so we'll ask those people to come down here. In addition to that, we'll also have a 4 and a 530 Mass on Saturday. But uh, I certainly would appreciate your prayers as I begin this new charge of the diocese. Certainly, it, uh, it's very possible, it's very doable, and yet it stresses, stretches me a little bit. So if we all work together, everything will be fine and great, as you have given to me over the last couple of years. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, unsubstantial to the Father, through him all things were made. For us, and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was a part of the Virgin of Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified for once his power. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will not have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead in the light of the Lord. Like a great tree with flourishing branches, or like seed quietly growing, so the kingdom of God increases. We make our prayers together as our share in that loving plan of divine providence. With a growing church on earth, that it may welcome and redeem the cultures and values of all people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders whose plans influence the economy, that they may encourage and support farmers and all those who help to bring food to our table. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who develop the land, that as they make this earth more productive, so may they, re so that may they reverence the natural environment created by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own community, that we may grow in grace as we welcome people to the life of faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick, bereaved, for any special intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our departed brothers and sisters, that they may live forever in the courts of our God, especially Joan C. Brennan, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who are the source of all goodness and grace, hear these prayers we make and our intercession for others through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our number 642, For the Beauty of the Earth, hymn number 642.
And my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
St. Clair of Assisi, and with all the saints of please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Rule him and live him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and Our hymn is number 811, Seeds Scattered and Sown. And number 811.